Thank you for joining us again on the newsroom. These are the latest updates at this time. The legal team of the Labour Party is in a meeting with officials of the Independent National Electric Commission, INEC, in Abuja. The meeting with INEC officials, which has been held at the Commission's national headquarters, is to start the process of inspection of electoral materials used for the February 25th presidential election. The head of the legal team, Levi Uzoku, led 60 lawyers and are expected to brief journalists after the meeting. The Senate has postponed its earlier scheduled plenary to Tuesday, March 21, 2023. The Red Chamber, at its last seating, had, due to the governorship elections, adjourned plenary to Tuesday, March 14, 2023. The Senate President, Ahmed Lawan, shifted the plenary to March 14 to enable senators vying for governorship positions participate in the campaigns and elections. However, a copy of a memo signed by the clerk of the Senate, Chinedu Akubuize, announced a new postponement of the plenary. And the Lagos State Government says it recognizes the hardships packed by the Naira redesign policy, which has affected businesses and commercial activities. Governor Babajide Somolu, in a statement signed by the Commission of Information and Strategic Bengal Motoshow, called on business owners, especially retailers, to accept the owed 500 and 1,000 Naira notes in line with the Supreme Court judgment that the currency remains legal tender until December 31, 2023. The governor also advised all agencies of the Lagos State Government not to reject payments made with the old currency by the public. And Japan has dropped its request for people to wear masks after three years. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, who spoke on Monday after a televised budget committee meeting at Parliament, said mask wearing has left up to individual judgment but called for the use of masks around vulnerable people to protect them from risks of infection. Dropping the mask wearing request is one of the last steps Japan's government is taking in easing COVID-19 rules in public places as it tries to expand business and other activities. In business, cash list transactions fell to 37.6 trillion naira in February 2023 as Nigerians had to grapple with failed and delayed cash transfers. According to new data from the Nigeria Interbank Settlement System on Monday, e-payment gateways were used 901.46 million times, a 41.29% increase from the 638 million times they were used in January. Despite an increase in usage, the total value of cashless transactions fell in February, indicating an increase in the number of field transactions. On the global scene, South African Health Minister Joe Faala has said the death of at least four patients can be attributed directly to an ongoing nationwide strike action by health workers. Strike action by the National Education Health and Allied Workers Union from last week saw the shutdown of some hospitals with workers being violently barred from entering and patients in need of care being turned away. Public service workers, including medical personnel, have vowed to intensify this strike as it enters its second week. And in sports, former Nigerian international Vincent Inyama has been named the greatest African goalkeeper of all time. Inyama was named Africa's all-time best by the International Federation of Football History and Statistics. Inyama represented Nigeria at three FIFA World Cups in Korea, Japan 2002, South Africa 2010 and Brazil 2014. He also featured in all the Super Eagles matches as they became African champions at the 2013 AFCON in South Africa. The all-time goalkeeper ranking was decided from 1987 to 2022. And that's the latest from the newsroom. Thank you for staying with us. I am Mary Cannon.